share my experience with uh, using uh, dihexapeptide, which is like a nootropic compound. Uh, it was studied for Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, not sure what's going on with the studies. I'd love to see more literature on it. The initial literature looked very promising. Uh, one of the, like the, the main uh, excerpts that people always mention is it has, it was found to have seven orders of magnitude stronger than BDNF. Uh, BDNF is brain derived nootropic factors and it has to do with synaptogenesis and neurogenesis, um, you know, repair in the brain. But it's anecdotally, I mean, the science of it, I, I can't really, I won't claim to know the science in and out, the neuro, you know, the neurological science behind it, because it's it goes pretty deep, pretty quick, trying to understand it. But from an anecdotal first person experience, I mean, it's, there's nothing, nothing compares to it in my experience. Um, you know, I haven't, I do have ADD, ADHD, so, you know, I have, my brain moves extremely fast and for, you know, a lot of times it's, it's difficult to focus, um, you know, I'm distracted easy. And this is something that I notice, it's not a stimulant, it doesn't have a stimulating, you know, central nervous kind of jittery feeling to it. Um, in general, I actually notice that I have better stress resistance, I feel calm, but there's significant focus, motivation you know, mental clarity, verbal fluency, like it's kind of like it is for me, it's kind of like the limitless pill. I mean, um, but it's one of those things. There's still a lot of question marks. I'd love to see more literature on it. I'm not sure what's going on with the supplement because it looks like all the online sources have been pulled. Um, the few places that you could purchase it direct online. Um, from what I've seen, they've, they've pulled it from the market. Um, I did hear that um, the manufacturer actually reached out to these suppliers and, you know, pretty much sent them like a cease and desist letter telling them they, they cannot, they cannot sell it. My understanding is they're trying to bring it to market for, you know, condition. I haven't seen any updates on it. Um, but yeah, this stuff is, it's really powerful and impressive stuff. Um, I've never used Adderall or Ritalin. I, I was given Ritalin at a young age, but I don't remember exactly the effects it had on my brain. Um, but for myself, I don't really like stimulants. Caffeine can be a little bit too much for me. So this is kind of the best my brain will will feel. Um, and I've, I've run three or four, I think this is at least my fourth round of using Dihexa. And almost every time it's, it's pretty consistent that I get this really kind of profound brain clearing effect um, that is kind of what everyone I guess is searching for. Um, and of course there's the bioindividuality and you know, what works for me may not work for you thing with all this stuff, because I have spoken to some people that say that they don't notice anything from it. Um, but myself and a few others, you know, it, you really get this profound nootropic effect without, I don't get any side effects, you know, certain compounds um, like phenylparacetam, bromantine, these, kind of more stimulating compounds don't work well for me because I have, I can have issues. I can run into anxiety pretty quickly. Um, and this one, that's why, I, I mean, for myself, I love Dihexa because it has a really profound um, stress resistant, you know, aspect to it where, you know, normal day to day um, interactions or, or, you know, stressors at work, just normal stuff that would trigger some kind of response. Like now it's like it, hardly anything phases me. I can kind of really just focus on what I would need to focus on, um, you know, have the motivation and, you know, just to go about my day and get the stuff that, that needs to be done, done. Um, so the cool thing with the Hexaso is, I, I don't know where you can find it online anymore, um, but so I do work with the telemedicine clinic that we do prescribe, uh, you know, we do hormone replacement, we do peptides, regenerative medicine. And so we can still get Dihexa. Um, and I know that there's a lot of, you know, telehealth clinics around the United States that are still, still prescribing Dihexa. So it is still available for people if they really want to try it. Um, like I said, you know, I don't do too many videos, but this, you know, the experience with this is so, you know, so great that I feel like I, I got to put it out there. Um, like I said, it's, it's like nothing. I've, I've tried racetams. I've tried, you know, I mean, lions made, you could literally name off, you know, 14, 15 things I've tried where it's, you know, maybe I'll get a subtle effect or a little boost, but there's, I mean, man, there's, there's nothing like this. 
um, and it feels kind of natural. It doesn't feel like I'm I'm really on anything. It just feels like everything's kind of functioning fluidly and you know the way it should. And I don't really. Uh, I've tried racetams. I've tried anaracetam. I've tried paracetam. I've tried phenylparacetam, and they don't you know the synthetic compounds i don't know for, for whatever reason i don't always respond great to them sometimes i don't you know i get headaches i know they say okay you know that's a choline issue but you know i'll combine choline with anaracetam um uh, you know anaracetam is the only one that's it's hit or miss sometimes i will notice a, a little you know a little cognitive boost from it but it's you know dihexa is consistent where for me it's like it's it's same day you know it kicks in um and i'm still this is going to be i'm going to run this this one I'm going to run this full 30 days. Um, I do have hesitation with the hexa because it is so strong. Um, you know, it's almost like too good to be true kind of thing. So I'm going to be very, I am very cautious with the compound. I typically don't run it more than a couple weeks at a time. Um, this time I'm going to run a lower dose a little bit longer and see and try to really target in, you know, to see where the effects plateau. Um, how long the effects last for once I discontinue, really see if there is any lasting benefit to it. Um, because, you know, if there was better research on this and I knew it was a long-term uh, solution, I would not be opposed to taking this long-term. But, you know, from talking to a couple other people that are, that are very knowledgeable in, um, you know, neurological issues, they don't know, uh, they, there seems to be a lot of, question marks on this one and how long the effects last for um i have heard a couple people say that the effects plat can plateau pretty quickly for some people and once you hit that plateau you know you don't you stop noticing effects like i said this is my fourth or fifth time i've used it over a couple year period um and for me the first couple days are you know it's it's always the same uh where it's like i really get this profound kind of benefit from it um, but like I said, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna carefully monitor it this time, run it a little bit longer at a lower dose. Um, dosing, I've seen 20 milligrams up to 40 plus. Um, like I said, there's so much, so much, so many question marks on this. I don't really know. Um, there's no set protocol. You know, I've seen, I've seen some people state that the literature shows it has a half-life up to 10 days. But the effects acutely, I think, start to dissipate. You know, once you discontinue within a couple of days, you know, the really noticeable effects, um, what it's doing behind, you know, underneath, underneath kind of the, the network or whatever you want to, however you want to term it. Um, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, like I said, this is, this is really cool stuff. I'd look into it. Um, hopefully we do see Dihexa come out onto the market and, you know, hopefully they, they refine it. We see some better literature, but it's something for people that are, you know, kind of deeper into nootropics and to biohacking and, you know, self, self experimenting. This is something that's really cool to check out. Um, and like I said, we still can get it through clinics. Um, if anybody does know of an online source that's legit and safe, I mean, feel free to post in the comments. Like I said, this isn't like an illegal compound or anything. Um, I think it's still deemed possibly a research chemical, but we can there are compound and pharmacies in the u.s making it you can get it through a clinic through a doctor prescribed uh but that's it godspeed if anybody's tried it let me know i'd love to hear you know anybody else's experiment but uh that's it peace out